कोटि कोटि शुक्राना मेरे दाता ओम नमः शिवाय शिव जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय गुरु जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय शिव जी सदा सहाय ओम नमः शिवाय गुरु जी सदा सहाय जय गुरु जी शुक्राना मेरे मालिक आनंद सब शुक्राना आप जी का जय गुरु जी संगत जी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रीड चैप्टर पेज 53 to 56. Colossal divinity, however, in a sincere tribute of love and reverence for my Guru, I share my experience of supreme blessings with his Guru. The path we seek is not different from the summit of salvation, the purpose of our being, the journey from seeking to reaching this summit is a is a change for those who entrust their reign in the hands of their guru for we are not the pathfinders but followers i was born into a jack sick family my family had to its credit happiness tasteful living good education and discipline throughout my childhood i have always been influenced by my grandfather a devout follower of his faith and of his master slowly the import of finding a guru dawned on me i was married into a jat sikh family my husband the only son after three daughters in his family was brought up with a lot of affection which he seemed to have taken for granted he learned to have his way to his negligence towards the family and lack of responsibility towards himself can perhaps be attributed his fondness for alcohol his major problem it's a dream of every girl to be happily married and i was no exception but when a family is haunted with alcoholism nothing is any longer in anyone's control and worldly fetter and problems become insurmountable the burden of responsibility and my unhappiness soon this illustrated me during that time my grandfather visited me my inner turmoil reached out to him without words and he assumed i needed some help my eyes filled up with tears and i told him that i wanted him to pray for me to find a puran guru a complete and perfect master however had a mortal being may try she cannot find an enlightened master the master finds her when she is ready to tread his path shortly my mother took me to visit guru ji in chandigarh from the moment i stepped into guru ji i could smell roses and the sight of him flooded my ears ear eyes with tears for the next few hours that i sat there tears kept streaming down my eyes many times after first meeting guru ji i could not control the outburst of emotions and i simply could not understand why every time i visited him i experienced a peace that passed understanding it was as if the flood of tears was singularly transforming me by some alchemical cleansing in the meantime my husband began to drink more he lost all sense of responsibility and was squandering money i tried telling him about guruji and also persuaded him to meet guruji 
He laughed at me, saying, "Such guru, mara, dime a dozen, a dozen, and teased me about my conservative attitude." He also did not approve of my visiting Guruji. Around November 1999, my husband was posted to Lebanon on a UN mission. There, his drinking problem worsened, and he was diagnosed as having liver cirrhosis. Our world fell apart. I took the first flight to be with him. The doctor clearly stated that his liver had packed up and that he would require a transplant within two years. To find a donor in such a short period was a near impossibility. Even if a donor was found, a transplant would have been exorbitant and in many cases unsuccessful. Doctors cautioned my husband that even a single drop of alcohol taken henceforth would prove fatal. Meanwhile, my parents kept going to Guruji and praying for my husband's life. After being in the hospital for a few weeks, we came back to Delhi. I requested him to meet Guruji. He did come, but all the while, while. that he was there he sat in a corner and complained of how tired he was and how i had forced him to come the same night i approached guruji and was so full of emotions that i could hardly speak my mother and i prayed in front of him to save my husband and guruji replied how can i help him he is a non believer In the days that followed, I visited. I would visit Guruji alone because my husband would never accompany me. One night, after returning from Guruji's place, while I was last asleep, I was fast asleep. A sudden great force, like a swooshing wind, entered my room. I was so scared that I sat upright in my bed. and started saying my prayers with my eyes closed i experienced while light piercing the darkness and flooded the center of my forehead guruji was within that white light he said he would cure my husband now in the 15 to 20 minutes that followed i smell nauseating nauseating odor similar to those that and made that emanate from operating rooms after a while every thing cleared up and i went back to sleep guruji told me he had blessed my husband six years have passed since that day and my husband continues to drink relentlessly keeping in mind what the doctor has said my family and i are amazed at how guruji is looking after him day and night my husband in his own way believes and recognizes the gift of life given to him by guruji the time tested scripture of the world all agree that before man is born the day of his death is certain and that no one can grant him even a breath more however the power to burn man's karmas lies with the supreme creator guruji is that cosmic director the manifestation of the supreme power who read of the play of my life my family and i have experienced numerous incidents where we have called out to guruji and have suddenly seen things fall into place as if touched by a magic wand i once had the privilege of escorting more than half a dozen friends to whom i had been singing the praises of my guru to meet guruji with my limited vision i prevailed upon them to not ask for anything 
though he, it was contrary to what I had done. When I touched the feet of my Guru, he looked at me and to my astonishment said that everyone came to him to ask for something. Like a divine mirror, Guruji apparently had caught the reflection of my mind and each of my friends was blessed and their desires fulfilled. No one who comes near him ever goes back empty-handed. Upon touching his feet, a businessman might be blessed with prosperity, a sick man with health, and a student with knowledge. Some are aware of the gift they receive, others ignorant of the hidden blessings. His love knows no bound and immaterial of whether you are a believer or a non-believer. His grace touches everyone. He makes no demands, asks you to keep no promises, but slowly His Divine Presence weaves magic and transforms you from within. Everyday people ridden with sor sorrow come in His Presence and His grace illuminates their faces like the sudden rising of the sun over a sodden landscape. Satsang of a devotee. Jai Guruji, Shukrana Mere Male, Anantam Shukrana, Anantam Shukrana Data, Aapka Gunan Karke, Bahut Acha Lagta Hai Prabhu Ji, Bahut Acha Lagta Hai. Shukrana Mere Male, Om Namah Shivaye, Shiv Ji Sada Sahai, Om Namah Shivaye, Guru Ji Sada Sahai.